By a unanimous vote, Xi Jinping is elected Chinese president and chairman of the Central Military Commission. After a standing ovation at the Great Hall of the People, the president walks to the podium, taking an oath of allegiance to the Constitution. I pledge to be allegiant to the Constitution of the PRC, safeguard the Constitution's authority, fulfill my legal obligations, be loyal to the country and the people, be committed and honest in my duty, accept the people's supervision, and work for a great modern socialist country that is prosperous, strong, democratic, culturally advanced, harmonious and beautiful. In the past decade, the world's second largest economy has eradicated absolute poverty and built the largest education, social security, and healthcare systems in the world. She said China has also joined the ranks of the world's innovators while achieving an overwhelming victory in fully consolidating the gains in the fight against corruption. During this year's two sessions, she has met with lawmakers from the Chinese military and armed police force calling for opening new ground for enhancing integrated national strategies and strengthening strategic capabilities. In 2027, the People's Liberation Army is due to achieve its sanitary goal of becoming a world-class force. <laughs> Lawmakers at a third plenary session elected Zhao Luoji as chairman of the 14th NPC Standing Committee and Han Zheng as vice president of China. They also adopted the plan for the second round in a decade of institutional restructuring of the State Council.